I remember when me and all my friends were all hanging out at this high school party. Out of nowhere, we ended up seeing this girl walk in. And my friend says, yo, that girl's actually pretty cute, Bubba. What do you think? And what I said next could probably get me into the Diddy party. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to a super embarrassing, but I gotta say, crazy story. Now, this story all takes place back when I was in high school, and this was my grade 10 year. Now, in grade 10, I was known as a player, and I'm not gonna lie, all throughout my high school, like, they knew me for basically doing the Duvel's Tango with, like, so many different women. Honestly, my reputation was pretty bad, but I guess I was really cool amongst all the guys because a lot of women would draw attention to me to basically get them attention as well, which sounds really bad, but at the same time, it was high school. Honestly, none of us take any of that seriously. But going on with the story, I remember there was one time in my grade 10 year where I was basically hanging out with a group of friends in the cafeteria. This group of friends was the boys, and I remember as we were all sitting down together, there was a girl kind of sitting far away from us, but staring directly at me. To the point where one of my friends ended up looking at me saying, yo Bubba, that girl over there just keeps staring at you bro, like just go say something, she's being weird. So that's when I got up and I walked up to her. Now this girl I walked up to, I actually did know her, and me and her, we We've done the Duvel's Tango a decent amount of times, but recently she got like a boyfriend and stuff, so I had to put her aside. But I remember this girl looks at me when I walked up to her and said, Hey, Bubba, um, sorry I was just being weird, but uh, I was just wondering, what are you guys doing this weekend? What are we guys doing? Like the whole group? Yeah, like what are you guys up to? Oh, well, uh, to be honest, nothing really. We were probably just gonna go like play video games or something. I'm not really sure, but why? What's going on? Oh, well, I'm having like a massive party at my place, and like my boyfriend's gonna be there, but like I know he's gonna be like really boring and stuff so i thought like if you and like if you want your friends can come as well if all of you guys could like you know pull up that'd be pretty cool uh yeah sure sounds good to me and basically she ended up sending me the address over snapchat for where we would have to go when i walked back to the table i ended up basically telling them like about the party and stuff and all of them were actually really down for it because at the same time like in high school going to parties was like really nothing new and a lot of us would go to parties if you're in high school right now comment down below if you guys have gone to a high school party but it's pretty common so from there i remember after like we all discussed the party we ended up basically going to our classes and going through the school day but i want to say around my third block out of nowhere i ended up seeing like three different girls walk up to me and message me and they ended up messaging me and asking me these questions about oh like are you going to the party hey bubba are you driving to the party i was just wondering like could i come with you hey do you want to go to like the party together and i ended up saying no to all of them now you guys are probably wondering why i said no and let me explain me back when i was in high school i would always like to go to parties solo so when I pulled up with my car at the time that I had I would basically pull up and make it look like I'm single and available which I was to all the different girls at the party because if I went to the party with a girl it would seem like I already had a date which I did not want to look like I had because then there would be a higher chance for me to pull other girls kind of genius I know but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand what I just explained anyways going on from there I remember I ended up basically declining and they were all pretty annoyed but then I remember I ended up getting a phone call right after school and when I looked at who was calling me it was from a girl that went to a private school and I was so confused on why she was calling me because me and her haven't spoke in months so I ended up answering the phone saying yo like what's going on hey Bubba I was just wondering apparently like some girls at my school are talking about like some party that's being hosted by another girl in your school and I was just like thinking do you want to like maybe go together uh to be honest I'm shocked you heard about the party but no I'm not like planning to go with anyone to be honest I'm kind of just going solo okay well that's fine I guess I'll just see you there uh, are you bringing some friends with you down there? Oh, uh, well, I mean, if I don't go with you, I'll probably just go with some friends. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll see you there then. And then that's when I hung up the phone. Now that moment when I was like basically thinking what just happened, I was kind of shocked to know that there was a lot of different people from different schools going to this party, which usually like if you have a house party, you would only invite people from your own school because like, you know, everyone knows each other and it's kind of just a hangout spot without teachers being around where we could do whatever we want. But knowing that there was going to be other people from other schools, well, it was definitely going to be a big party. So me knowing this, I remember I went home that day and I hopped on Xbox and went on my Xbox party with me and the boys. And we all talked about the party and how insane it was going to be. And I ended up bringing up to them how there was going to be like a bunch of different people from different schools going. And that's when they all said, wait, seriously, like there's going to be girls from other schools. Oh shoot. I actually got to try then. So at that moment, basically me and all the guys were really pumped up and excited to see what was going to happen. But I remember as days went on, more and more people in my school started talking about this party that was going to happen. And when it finally came, came to the day of the party. I remember when I went to school that morning, no joke, the amount of people that came up to me just to get a ride to go with me to this party was absurd. Even like some of the cheerleaders in my school ended up walking up
up to me asking me, but I still declined. I still said no, obviously, because I had a mission, a mission to pull the hottest girl there. And if I'm going to do that, I can't walk in with another chick. I remember after school came around finally, and I ended up basically heading home and I got ready for the party. I got all dressed up really nicely. I was wearing a nice pair of jeans, a nice white shirt, and I wore my Air Forces with a chain. And I got all dressed up, started heading over there. And once I got there and drove there, I ended up realizing how many people there actually was. Because there were people like outside of the house, in the front yard. There were people in the backyard. There were people inside the house, just taking over the entire place. Like I could easily say there was more than like 300 people there. And I remember when I walked in, I automatically saw the host of the party and she was just kind of sitting at the stairwell, basically making sure that no one that she didn't want came in. And I ended up walking up to her saying, Hey, like, how's it going? Nice party you got here. Oh yeah. It's kind of getting out of control, but it, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, just enjoy yourself, Bubba. I have things to do. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. And I ended up walking away from her. I ended up meeting up with some of the guys. And when I saw them, we all started like basically hanging out and, you know, did some things that I can't say because of monetization reasons, but we all were basically under the influence. And then one thing led to another. I remember my buddy ends up grabbing by the shoulder and saying, yo, Bubba, have you seen that girl over there? She looks hot as hell, bro. What? Which one? And that's when I saw a girl that I'm not going to lie to you. I recognized, but I didn't know from what. And that's when I looked at my buddy and said, oh, like, do you know her? Nah, bro. I just saw her right now, but I'm not complaining. I might walk up to her. Uh, okay. Yeah, go for it. I remember he ends up walking up to this girl and he ends up like basically talking to her. And this girl was having a good time talking to him back as well. And in my mind, I'm thinking, where do I recognize that girl from? Like there was something I recognize about her, but I don't know what. And you guys are probably thinking, oh, why don't you just walk up to her and see where you know her from? But I didn't want to do that since my friend was already trying to raise her up. So as I'm sitting back there, just thinking and trying to remember from where, I remember he ends up coming back to me and saying, yo, Bubba, I ended up getting her IG. Look at this, bro. And when I looked at her name and IG, I recognized it as well. I just didn't know from what still. So I ended up pulling out my phone and I ended up going to her Instagram page. And that's when I realized my little sister that was in middle school follows this girl. At that moment, I ended up shooting my sister a message saying like, yo, do you recognize this girl? And I sent her a screenshot of the profile. And that's when my little sister that was still in middle school said, oh yeah, I know her, Bubba. That's, um, that's, that's a girl from my school. She's in like grade seven. Wait, why do you ask? At that moment, I started to panic. I'm like, bro, wait a second. This girl's in middle school. And that's when I ran up to my buddy and I'm like, yo, bro, like you need to stay away from this girl. Like, don't do it. Why, Bubba? Why are you planning to meet up with her after the party? No, bro, you can't. Bubba, give me one good reason why I shouldn't meet up with her after the party. And that's when I told him, bro, she's in middle school. When I said that to him, I remember a bunch of other girls and guys at the party started looking at me because I said it pretty loud. And that's when the host of the party that was at the stairwell ends up walking up to me saying, Bubba, who's in middle school? Everyone's talking about middle school being in here. And that's when I pointed out the girl and the girl looked at me and she started walking up to me. She walked up to me and said, oh, like, do we have a problem here? Uh, yeah, we kind of do because I'm not going to lie. This is a high school party and I don't know who invited the middle schooler, but that's not it. What do you mean? That's not it. Wait, it, are we not allowed to be here? What do you mean we? And that's when I realized she ended up bringing some of her friends and I started to panic because the friend that she had was the one that called me earlier that went to the private school that was in high school, by the way. So I, in my mind, I was thinking, yo, like, why is this high schooler hanging out with the middle schoolers? And why is there a bunch of middle schoolers at this party? So that moment, I ended up texting my friends in a group chat telling them how I'm leaving the party and I do not want to be there if there's going to be middle school girls just around there. Like, that makes me feel super uncomfortable. And they all ended up saying like, oh, okay, like, we'll leave with you. So we all ended up getting inside my car and we left. And once we left, apparently the party started to die down quickly other than all the middle schoolers still staying in there. So basically, it went from a high school party to a middle school party. I don't know. At the end of the day, I was happy to save my friend from becoming the next EDP. But what would you guys do in that situation? Because if you guys would do the same thing I did, then fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one. Peace out, guys.